The favor of God can't be bought, traded, or manipulated because people still come to church with their hearts totally distant from the Lord, but they think they could put on their Sunday best and throw a super spiritual smile on their face and impress God. God is looking for people who will seek him with a whole heart. So it all comes down to this. We either seek him or we don't. And God surely knows the difference between the two. And so should we. Danielle, I have to meet a client in the morning, so I'm going to drop you off early at the community center, OK? OK. Can we pick up Jennifer on the way? Sure, if it's OK with her mother. Who's Jennifer? She's on my double dutch team. I thought you were playing basketball. I wanted to jump rope again. Tony, you should go see her practice tomorrow. She's really very good. I'm out of town this week. When were you going to tell me? I just did. Tony, I know you're the company's top salesman, but in order for this family to function, we have to communicate. I thought you'd be here this week. Well, if you want to continue to live in this house, I have to make sales, and that means being flexible. Aren't you a little too old to be jumping rope? Here you go. Now there's five, 10, 15, 20, and here's five extra because I like your haircut. Thank you, Miss Williams. I'm tired of seeing all these young boys with sloppy head and pants around their knees. A man wears his pants around his waist. Yes, ma'am. Well, tell your mama I said hello, and I'll see you next week. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Miss Williams? That's me. You must be Elizabeth. Well, it's so good to meet you. You can call me Clara. Well, come on in. Let me show you the house. I got to put my coffee pot on. Can I get you something? Oh, no, thank you. I had mine at home. This is a beautiful house. I think so, too. Built in 1905. And I've lived here almost 50 years. Leo added that sun porch on the back all by himself. Oh, this must be Leo. That's Leo. We were married for 14 years before he died. He had just been promoted to captain before that picture was mm -hmm. taken. He was so handsome in that uniform. He's fine, ain't he? <laughs> yes, we wanted five or six children, but the Lord only gave us Clyde, because he was all I could handle. You see that big crack over there on the wall? That was Clyde. Now, this is my third favorite place. It's my sitting room. Hmm. What are you doing here? Mainly sit. Well, come on in here. Let me show you the dining room. Now, this is my second favorite place. I love this room. Mm, this is beautiful. And I love this fireplace. I've got a lot of good memories in here. Yes, I do. A lot of laughter. And a few tears, too. Now, this is why I'm moving in with Clyde a few blocks away. Ooh, it's getting harder to negotiate these stairs. OK, so three bedrooms and two full baths. You mind if I take some pictures? Oh, go ahead. That's fine. Oh, you got one of those smartphones. I've been meaning to get me one of those. Can't do nothing with my phone but call folks. Must be a dumb phone. You got it? I do. They say if you live in a house with stairs, you'll live longer. So I should make it to 180. This is fascinating, Miss Clara. Oh, that's my wall of remembrance. And when things aren't going so well, I look back on it. And I'm reminded that God is still in control. It encourages me. I sure could use some of that. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. OK, so I've got a few questions about utilities, and then we should probably talk about the asking price. All right. OK, so I think I got everything that I need for now. So nice to meet you, Miss Clara. Listen, if you're available tomorrow, I'd like to come by and show you some comparisons in the area. Well, why don't you come by for coffee tomorrow morning and we'll talk about it then. Say 10 o'clock. 
Uh, okay, yeah, I can do that. I'll see you at 10. By the way, what's your most favorite room? I'll tell you tomorrow. Then I'll look forward to tomorrow. Mm-hmm.